Next, may I call on the representative from the EU Access to Sustainable Energy Program to give our closing remarks. Um, is there... Oh, okay. Good afternoon. I'm happy to give you a few remarks uh, for this meeting. The topic of the series that has just been concluded on upgrade electrification is of personal importance to me. Having worked for over 40 years in this field, most of it at the World Bank, and now as key expert for the ASEP program in the Philippines. As has been pointed out by these speakers, access to electricity is important not only for the purpose of economic development, but also for enabling households to enjoy very basic services, such as lighting, thereby improving their quality of life. That is really the key purpose of off-grid electrification programs, the improvement of the quality of life of the poorest and remotest households in any country. While remarkable progress in off-grid electrification has been made worldwide, as you know, the number of people without access to electricity globally is still close to a billion. Much progress in recent years has been made in Asia. But some 600 million people or about half of the population in sub-Saharan Africa remain without access. Many donors and international organizations, including World Bank, GIZ, and the ECCP, are trying to address this problem using various electrification models and financing schemes. In 2008, I co-authored for the World Bank a guidelines for staff on the design of sustainable, economically and financially sustainable electrification projects. In brief, the conclusion is that project designers must make a range of critical decisions. These decisions include technology choice, ensuring affordability to users, ensuring social safeguards and environmental benefits, as well as taking advantage of opportunities to initiate and enhance productive activities and institutional applications. We have been trying to do some of this uh, with the PURE project in ASEP, for example. Project designers must also consider ways to use appropriate business models, determine necessary regulatory actions, and explore opportunities for international co-financing. The aim in most actually countries actually is to eventually connect to the grid all of the population. Off-grid electrification is often just a strategy to provide electricity access to populations in remote areas that are unlikely to be reached by grid extension within a reasonable time frame. Intertwined with this goal are the objectives of having players other than governments implement the work mobilizing additional human and financial resources and reducing pressure on already overextended public utilities. Alternative players could include private sector companies or individuals, intergovernmental organizations or community-based organizations. The key is to develop a system of incentives sufficiently attractive for these players to do business in off-grid areas. The Philippines at about 95% electrification rate today 
continues to make great strides in its rural electrification program. With some 2 million remote households still unelectrified, the government has set the goal of 100% household electrification within the next few years. As people have mentioned, it is an ambitious but worthwhile goal. We at ASAP are helping in a small way on this. The real work is the main energy agencies of this country. I salute Department of Energy, National Electrification Administration, and the National Power Corporation for being in the front lines towards achieving this goal. Thank you and good afternoon to all. Thank you, Dr. Terrado, for that closing message. And that ends our program for the ECCP Energy Smart Forum on Sustainable Off-Grid Electrification Models. Thank you to our speakers and panelists, our co-presenter, EU Access to Sustainable Energy Program, our sponsors, Shell Philippines and Wartzilla Philippines, and our audience for supporting and participating in today's discussion. Finally, we would like to take this opportunity to invite you to our upcoming events and activities. More details will be flashed as we close the session. Once again, thank you for joining us and we at the ECCP, your chamber of choice, wish you a great weekend ahead. Stay safe at maraming salamat po. Thank you, Ms. Ruth. Stay safe. Thank you, salamat. Thank you, everybody, thank you, Kat. Maraming salamat din. Bye-bye. Ang ako pang umasa una, muabot o adlaw. Karon oras na lang dyan. Pasalamat ko kaayo sa solar power abaka spender na makina tungod. Ako dili na mabudlay o paspas pa ang ako trabaho. Mas dalisab ang proseso o daghan ang mahuman na ako. O mitaas-taas ang ako kita para sa ako pamilya. Nagpasalamat dyan kung dako, kung dako sa European Union. Bisa bukid sa amo, kiari jud sila. Kung may kung may solar, pwede kami magano yung mais namin. Ah. Sa gabi. O oh, gabi po, mag-study yung mga estudyante. Maliwanag ang pagsubo yung pagkain.